Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Open Green Energy. In my previous video, I have shown you how to make a solar bottle lamp by using waste plastic bottle. The lamp uses a customized PCB, which has all the SMD components. By taking the feedback from the users, I have modified the original circuit to make it more user friendly. In this video, I will show you how I have simplified the design by using a charging module TP4056 and few throw hole components. Guys, I hope the new design will be very useful for the beginners. So without any further delay, let's move to make the project. Before moving to make the project, let's understand the schematic. The entire circuit is mainly divided into two parts, the charging circuit and the LED driver circuit. The charging circuit is based on a single cell lithium ion charger module TP4056. The diode D1 is used to prevent the reverse power flow from USB input to the solar panel. Then come to the LED driver circuit. The LED driver circuit is mainly consist of two transistor Q1 and Q2. When there is sunlight, the transistor Q2 is on, due to which there is no voltage at Q1 base. So Q1 is off. When there is no sunlight, the transistor Q1 is on, whereas Q2 is off. In this situation, power flow from the output plus terminal to LED, switch, the current limiting resistor, and finally to the transistor and ground. Depending on the switch position, R3 and R4 are selected. When the switch is sorted to R3, the LED brightness is low. When it is sorted to R4, the brightness is high. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can order high quality PCB prototype for your project from PCBWay. You will get 10 PCB at only $5. Apart from the PCB manufacturing, they also provide services of PCB assembling and 3D printing. Now we can move to make the project on a perforated board. To solder the TP4056 on the perforated board, I have used straight male header pins. After soldering the TP4056 module onto the perforated board, I have cut the extra legs by using a nipper. Then I have soldered three screw terminals. The screw terminals are used for connecting the solar panel, battery and the LED. In the next step, I have soldered a flashlight button switch. The button switch has three position position 1, 2 and off. The LED current limiting registers are connected to the two pole of the button switch. Now I am going to solder the two transistor Q1 and Q2. After soldering the two transistors, I will solder the two resistors R1 and R2. At last I have soldered a 8mm straw hat LED on the board. I have soldered it so that it will be easier for testing. Now we have to connect the components as per the schematic diagram. You can download the schematic diagram from my instructable page. The link is given in the video description.
Initially I have soldered the register R1 in the wrong position. Later on I have corrected it as per this schematic diagram. Now we have completed the circuit. To isolate the soldering joints from the ground, here I have used PCB stand-ups. Here I have used a 6 volt solar panel for the testing. Solder two piece of wires to the terminal of the solar panel. Here I am using 24 AWG wires. Now connect the battery, solar panel and the external LED to the corresponding screw terminals. To test the battery charging circuit, I have connected the TP4056 through a USB charger. You can see the red light. Then I have tested the solar charging circuit. To simulate the sunlight, I have projected the flashlight beam over the solar panel. During my testing, I have realized a diode is required to prevent the power flow from USB input to the solar panel. So I have finally added a diode at the input of the solar panel. Then I have modified the circuit as per the schematic diagram. Now we are ready for the final test. You can see the solar panel is exposed to the light. It simulates the daylight. That means the LED will not on. To simulate the night condition, cover the solar panel with your hand. To check the LED port, you can connect an external LED to the screw terminal. You can see both the LED are working. After testing the prototype successfully, I have designed a PCB for this project. Then I have adjusted the 3D printed enclosure file to accommodate the new PCB. The links to download the Gerber files and STL files are given in the video description. Now you can also order the PCB from PCBWay. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Please subscribe my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram for regular activities on my ongoing projects. Thank you. Have a nice day.